What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Look at the Masks Curse. Oh man. Oh, 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 oh. we still have a screwdriver. Uh huh. Uh huh. And we're missing a gear, but we got this. Well, let's go back to this side. I don't know why I put all the amulet pieces in here. Still haven't figured that out, but whatever. Oh, okay, so maybe this is where the gear goes. Uh-uh. Do that. No. Okay. Small gear. Yep. I am gonna put the big one on. Mm hmm. Whoa, what did that do? Nothing in here. Room with a safe in it. That didn't do anything. Can't do anything else. We could check that out, but we don't have. And we got a small gear. So to figure out where we could put that. Oh, maybe we do the small gear here. Uh oh. Oh. That's pretty cool. Let's keep going in here. Huh? Room with the safe in it. Open up the safe. Part of the amulet. I broke the other part because it didn't let me put it in. Oh shit, baby. This is it. This is it. I nailed it. And we are now achievement unlocked for Element Overlord. So I have the amulet plus all the pieces. Uh, can't go in there, can't go in there. So now we just go back. Cause I, I honestly can't think of anything else that we have to do here. So we gotta go all the way back. Uh, was it? No. Was it the park? No, it was here. To the swamp. Go through here, over to the guards, go through the gates of hell, check this out, plop this down. Oh, not this shit again. What the hell am I even doing? All right, guys, I think I've got it here. It is like Sudoku in my eyes. So basically, like, you can't have any of the same symbols in this block or this row. So see, you've got the three lines, the square, the triangle, and the circle, which is the first one I put down. And then with this one here, because you've already got two here, you know it's a triangle and a circle. Since you got the circle here, you can't put it there, so it puts that there. So those are two given lines. And then you got to fill in the blanks. So the next one here would be a triangle. Bam. And we're done. Like a fucking boss. Uh-oh. This doesn't look good. Oh, no. Here we go killing things again. That's three things we've killed. How you doing? Valhari, you destroyed the evil I summoned and saved my miserable soul, just as you once enlivened my life and filled it with happiness. I will always love you. 
but I do not dare to hope that you can reciprocate the emotions of such a dread monster as I. Forgive me if you can, my love. I do understand you. You did everything for the sake of love. During my centuries of unnatural existence, I came to understand that I could not build my personal happiness upon the ruins of this world by sacrificing millions of human lives and destining them to a life of suffering. Can you find it in your heart to forgive me, even now? Oh, yes, Justin. I do forgive you. What about Albert? Aw, he can live in peace. Die in peace. Be in limbo in peace, wherever. So... Albert. Is he dead? Oh. Whoa, what is this? Hey, there he is. What now? Uh, I think the game crashed. <laughs> it's not doing anything. He's frozen in time to never, ever, ever do anything ever again. Uh, that's fucked up. Okay, guys, give me a sec. I'm gonna see if uh, this fixes itself or what happens here, but. Okay, I just clicked on it. That was it. It's over! Alright, guys, so that's the end of the game, apparently. <laughs> I, I, did, I don't really know if Albert's alive or dead or what's happening, so we'll never know. We'll just say that they ran off into the sunset and lived happily ever after. Because, you know, why not? That's what happens, right? Or we could be the twisted end and we could be like, no, Albert's dead and now Valhari slash uh, whatever the fuck her name was at the beginning has an identity crisis, goes into a psych ward and she's in a white padded room for the rest of her life thinking about her dead husband who's still out there in limbo, not getting anywhere, and now he's trying to think of a plan to bring his wife back to him and he starts haunting the psych ward where she's at. Perfect. Anyways, guys, I really hope you enjoyed this series. And um, for five bucks, you really can't complain. Like, you're going to get a little bit of playtime out of it. Probably something you could do with your kids if you've got them. Um, depending upon the age, of course, because some of the images might be a little scary for them. But uh, other than that, it's like a basic hidden object game that has a storyline. So... I've never really been a big fan of hidden, hidden object games, the ones where you're just kind of like, oh, there's a ring, there's a candle, there's a rose, and you just kind of go around clicking shit. Uh, those annoy me more than anything. But with this one here, having that storyline attached to it made it a lot more interesting and want to go through to get to the end. So that was pretty cool. Uh, but like I said, for five bucks, you really can't go wrong. Uh, you're easily going to get at least two or three hours of play out of it. So for five bucks, yeah, cheaper than any meal that you get, and at least you get to spend a couple hours uh, dicking around doing something a little bit interesting. So anyways guys, I really hope you enjoyed this series. Thank you so much for the support. Much love, much respect, and I will see you guys in the next series, whatever the hell that may be. Take care. Very simple.